Hello and welcome back to Invincible Asia. I'm George from Movie Misfit and today I'm going to check out the German Blu-ray release of the Shaw Brothers classic 14 Amazons. So here we have it, another Shaw Brothers release that I have not yet seen and I am excited to finally have in my possession. 14 Amazons, uh, an absolute classic from the studio and I no doubt after me buying this it is probably going to be part of Arrow Video's uh, Shaw Scope Volume 2 or somewhere, <laughs> somewhere released down the line by Idiot Films or otherwise. Um, regardless, I did share with you, and you can go back and look at my video, I did share the five disc box set um, released by uh, Black Hill and Cock Media of Shaw Brothers films, um, many of which were Chang Chi movies, uh, apart from the Master of Kung Fu. Um, and I, I really was impressed with their quality. I was really impressed with their setup. Their design was beautiful and I just kept an eye out on Amazon Germany for more of these releases um, and with their recent Blu-ray sale that they had on there I did manage to pick up quite a few more uh, to add to the collection. And again they're probably going to get uh, another release in the UK by one of the distributors here but you know what for the price it was and the chance to finally see this on Blu-ray in full HD was worth it. So here we have the 14 Amazons starring uh, Lisa Liu, Abby Ling Po, uh, Lo Lei, uh, who else have we got in there? Let's see. We've got um, Bo Lu Yung, I believe, pops up throughout there. Cheng Ha, Fan Mei Sheng, uh, Tian Feng, of course. There's a whole host of prolific actors and actresses from the early uh, Shaw Brothers days. And yeah, I really cannot wait. Now, this is obviously uh, a story about the Yang family that has been told multiple times in many, many movies. Of course, um, Eight Diagram Pole Fighter is another amazing Shaw Brothers movie that you need to see. And then more, more lately uh, in Ronnie Yu's Saving General Yang, which a lot of people kind of seem to dislike, but I thought it was a pretty damn good show. Uh, of course, then this was remade many years later by Frankie Chan and produced by Jackie Chan. Uh, as Legendary Amazons, another underrated show because it is highly entertaining. Yes, there's some dodgy CGI in there, which is unfortunate, but it saw the return of Yukari Oshima uh, and it still had many, many, many great uh, scenes in there. In fact, I would love to possibly put that on after I watch this and do a bit of a, a comparison. Um, inside, we have got the usual setup here from uh, Black Hill. Uh, just the disc there and then of course a reversible cover which highlights the um, original. I'll show you this uh, modern artwork first and then the original Hong Kong poster artwork which is quite gorgeous. I'm not too sure what I'm going to do with these and keep keep either keep the original um, Hong Kong artwork or the uh, the newly designed piece because it is quite Quite sexy, I do like it. Um, okay, with this you have got uh, German and Mandarin language options uh, with English subtitles, which is fantastic, of course. Uh, trailer show and a photo gallery. Um, pretty standard with all their releases, which is fantastic. Not complaining, and again, for the price that I got it for, to be able to see it in full 1080p is just wonderful. Anyway, I have nothing to compare it to, but I'm going to go watch it and I'll let you know the thing when I get right back. So, just back after checking out the amazing 14 Amazons released on Blu-ray in Germany by Black Hill and Cock Media. And like their other releases, I have to say, it was just fucking stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. Uh, had an absolute ball watching it and I can't wait to get, the, get it back into the player, to be honest. It was fantastic. Uh, the extra features that come with it uh, give you a selection of trailers, uh, offers you Mandarin language options with English subtitles, which is just perfect. And of course, then there is a photo gallery in there also. Not too much in terms of special features, but for what I paid for it on Amazon Germany, which was around seven to eight euros, it was definitely uh, worth getting. And I'm so glad to finally have it in my collection.
So another one done and dusted. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to head on over to InvincibleAsia.com to check out my full movie reviews on as many of these movies as I can possibly write about. Uh, follow me on Instagram at InvincibleAsia and at MovieMisfit where you can uh, check out my bullet reviews and other things that I simply cannot put to video. And don't forget to check out the other videos of course on the channel such as my unboxing and reviews, show and tell and untold stories. Until next time, thanks for watching, enjoy your Kung Fu and I'll see you soon.